Welcome to the whimsical world of The Love Bug, a 1968 movie that charmingly captivated audiences with its endearing storyline and beloved characters. Starring a classic Hollywood actor, this film introduced audiences to the lovable Volkswagen Beetle, Herbie, whose quirky personality and unexpected racing prowess stole the show. Did you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor in this movie? Or perhaps you remember the first time you experienced the antics of Herbie on screen? This film wasn't just about cars, it was about heart, determination, and the power of an unlikely friendship. As Herbie takes on races and adventures, this movie weaves a tale that resonates with both young and old, reminding us of the joy found in unexpected places. We'd love to hear your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic movie. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Remember, sometimes the smallest bug can make the biggest impact. Dive into the nostalgia and share your moments with us. The Love Bug is a timeless tale that revolves around a down-on-his-luck race car driver named Jim Douglas, who discovers an unlikely friend and racing champion and a dilapidated Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie. Released in 1968, the film captured the hearts of audiences with its charming narrative and the magical persona of Herbie, a sentient car with a mind of its own. As Jim and Herbie navigate the competitive racing world, they form an unbreakable bond, overcoming obstacles and rivals together. The movie's success wasn't merely due to its racing sequences, but also the endearing relationship between man and machine, resonating with audiences of all ages. Herbie's distinctive red, white, and blue racing stripes became iconic as did its mischievous yet lovable personality. The film's popularity led to a series of sequels and a lasting impact on pop culture, inspiring merchandise, spin-offs, and even a theme park attraction. Its enduring legacy lies in its ability to blend adventure, comedy, and heartfelt connections, captivating generations with the enduring magic of an automobile with a soul. The exchange between Jim Douglas and Mr. Wu hanging from Herbie's rear bumper car very strong and very fast. The strength of 40 horse that showed the Volkswagen Beetle's stock 40 horsepower. This seemingly unassuming car became the heart of a captivating narrative. This 1968 movie soared in the US and Canada, crowned as the top moneymaker of 1969 by Guinness. But beyond its financial success, it wove a tale of an unlikely friendship between a down-on-his-luck race car driver and a sentient Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie. This iconic film not only captured hearts but also inspired a series of sequels, leaving an enduring mark on pop culture. Its impact went beyond the screen, spawning merchandise, spin-offs, and even a theme park attraction. The movie's magic lies in blending adventure, comedy, and heartfelt connections captivating audiences across generations with the enduring charm of a car with a soul. One of the fascinating aspects behind the scenes of this iconic flick was the unconventional casting process for the cars. When Disney began production, they lined up various vehicles for consideration, including Toyotas and Volvos. However, the crew's interaction with these cars was standard, checking tires, grabbing steering wheels. But when they stumbled upon the pearl white Volkswagen Beetle, something different happened. Instead of the usual inspection, they found themselves petting the Beetle, which ultimately landed at the starring role in the movie. This unique selection process reflects the unconventional charm that became a hallmark of the film. The decision to cast the Volkswagen Beetle over other cars added an unexpected layer to the movie's character. It was this distinctive choice that contributed to the enduring legacy and appeal of the film, capturing the essence of its whimsical narrative. Gary Owens, known for his role in Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, brought his charismatic presence to the movie as the announcer of the big race. His involvement added another dimension to the film's star-studded lineup, enhancing the overall experience for viewers. From the unconventional casting to the inclusion of notable talents like Gary Owens, every detail in the making of this movie played a crucial role in shaping its enduring legacy, leaving an indelible mark on pop culture. It's these distinctive elements that continue to resonate with audiences, solidifying the enduring charm of this classic automotive tale. The movie, known for its iconic Volkswagen Beetle named Herbie, had an interesting connection to a 1960s advertising slogan. 
The station attendant at Tang Wu's quick service sported a jacket with the phrase, Put a dragon in your tank, reminiscent of the popular Put a tiger in your tank slogan by Esso, and in Co, the forerunner of Exxon. This quirky reference adds an extra layer of nostalgia to the film, tying it to the advertising culture of its time. Dean Jones, who portrayed the hippie in a drive-in restaurant scene, shared previous screen time with Iris Adrian and that darn cat, further emphasizing the interconnectedness of actors in Hollywood productions. The movie was crafted about seven years post the publication of its source novel Car, Boy, Girl by Gordon Buford, highlighting the adaptation's timing in relation to the literary work. These subtle details, from references to past slogans to the actor's shared history, offer a glimpse into the broader cultural context surrounding this beloved automotive tale. The Love Bug, a movie capturing hearts since its release, hides fascinating details behind its creation. One standout fact revolves around the varied VW Beetles used in filming. Modified extensively for different tasks, one version, Herbie No. 2, transformed with a Porsche engine, reaching speeds up to 115 miles per hour. This souped-up Herbie with widened wheels and other enhancements dominated the racing scenes. Surprisingly, it still exists today, residing in England with its original Porsche 356 engine intact. This modification was crucial, considering the standard VW engine wouldn't cut it for a race car illusion. The ingenuity behind Herbie's transformation into a formidable racer adds depth to the film's legacy, showcasing the creative efforts behind the scenes at a time when this movie was making waves in cinematic history. Herbie, the iconic Volkswagen Beetle from the 60 Seconds movie, boasted a unique charm that extended beyond its quirky appearance. Painted in Volkswagen L87 Pearl White, this 1963 deluxe ragtop sedan featured an interior specifically designed with a non-reflective gray color, a tactical move to avoid unwanted reflections from studio lights and cameras, a subtle yet crucial detail that ensured seamless filming. But beyond its distinct look, the film's climax, the El Dorado race, kicked off against the scenic backdrop of Yosemite's Awani Hotel, adding a picturesque element to Herbie's racing adventures. Additionally, during Herbie's spirited drive through the Chinatown Parade, the soundtrack deviated from traditional Chinese tunes, opting instead for brassy Western marching band music, infusing an unexpected twist into the scene. These subtle but impactful details, from Herbie's unique paint and interior to the unconventional music choice in key moments, shaped the character of the film and added depth to its enduring legacy, resonating with audiences across generations. As the credits roll on this cinematic journey, let's take a moment to tap into the nostalgia that the timeless film from 68, filled with its whimsical charm and unforgettable automotive antics, has stirred within you. A love bug's magical allure has a way of imprinting itself on our hearts, doesn't it? It's like a revving engine of memories, beckoning you to reminisce about your own encounters with its endearing storyline, and the lovable, anthropomorphic car that stole the show. Perhaps it triggered a fond childhood recollection, a family gathering around the screen, laughter reverberating through the room as Herbie, the charismatic Volkswagen Beetle, took on adventures that resonated with the kid in all of us. Or maybe it's the camaraderie, the friendships kindled over discussions of this delightful classic that you hold dear. Your unique connection with this cinematic gem, like a cherished relic from a bygone era, is a testament to the film's ability to transcend time and bridge generations. What aspects of this tale of an extraordinary car touched your heart? How did it weave its way into the tapestry of your memories? Share your musings, your anecdotes, your reflections. Let's revel in the magic of storytelling and celebrate the threads of connection this film has woven into our lives. Your story adds yet another layer to the rich fabric of appreciation for this beloved cinematic gem. Thank you for indulging in this stroll down memory lane and for sharing your thoughts. Your contribution enriches the collective mosaic of love for this cinematic masterpiece. With heartfelt appreciation, 